Welcome everybody, this is Mac here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I created this ad that you see right here on the screen. Okay, I'm going to start by showing you how I created the sets and um, how I set up my cameras and my lights. Basically, this is a um, this is how I set up my lights, my camera, and this area right here is where I put my, my products that I'm shooting. The light is an 85 watt, 5500K, daylight bulb okay so um, I'm gonna start by showing you the image that I uh, the photo of the image that I took so I'm just gonna double click here right so what we're gonna do now we're gonna start by separating this photo from the background so I'm gonna open this with Photoshop CS5 and I'm just gonna duplicate this layer by clicking command J Okay, so I'm going to go up here to the uh, selection tool and I'm going to start selecting. So what you may want to do is just to make sure you've got all these edges right, you might want to zoom in a little bit. So I'm just going to hold the command or control and plus. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll to the top. Right, now I've done this intentionally because I need to show you a quick tip. So say for example you're selecting your uh, your object and you've selected more than you need. What you want to do now is to hold on the Alt key. Now as you can see in that circle now, there's a minus. So you can just... So you can just fix that problem. I'm just going to scroll down all the way to the bottom here just to make sure everything's selected. Okay, brilliant. Right, so I'm just gonna zoom back out by pressing the Command or Control minus. Okay, so now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to the Refine Edge because basically we wanna make sure that we have a smooth um, outline on our selection. Here in the Refine Edge, I'm just gonna play around with these controls just to make sure I've got all my selection. Okay, so what we might wanna do here is you can change the view mode we can have the overlay or you can have this on a white background okay this seems just about right so i'm just going to i'm just going to commit to that by clicking okay so now what i did after this stage was to basically crop this like so and then save this to the desktop so what i did is i went to file save for web and devices okay so what you want to do now is to save this as a png okay make sure it's png because in the technique we're going to use we're going to need the image to be separated from the background okay so i've already saved my png to the desktop so i'm just going to cancel this so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go to file place and here's my boss.png. png I'm just going to click on place. Now it's a bit too big now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the corners here and hold down the, um, the shift key and just drag until I have the size that I need. I'm going to press enter. Okay. What we're going to do now is to work on the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this background with a light gray. So I'm going to double click on the foreground color and I'm going to select a gray. Okay, with the background here selected, I'm going to hold down the Alt key and Backspace. Brilliant. So what we're going to do now is we're going to replicate Studio Lights in Photoshop. Now to achieve this, we need to go to Filter, Lens Correction. And then now what you want to do is to go to here where it says Custom. So I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see it clearly. Okay, so we're going to go to Custom. And then you're going to come down here to vignette and you're going to pull this back all the way here. So we're going to go down here to about say minus, minus 70. Okay. And then I'm going to pull down this midpoint to about plus 20. Excellent. All right. So we're going to commit to that and just say, okay. For the meantime, this bottle is on our way. So I'm just going to hide this by clicking this eye icon. Right, so now we need to duplicate this background. Uh, I'm going to click on Command J, Duplicate. 
and uh, I need to create kind of like a surface line. So I'm going to transform this. I'm going to hold down the control command T and I'm just going to pull this down while I'm holding the shift key like so. Okay. That's about right. And then I'm going to press enter and then I'm going to bring back this bottle into the scene. Okay. This seems to be taking shape. Now we need to create a, a reflection of the bottle. So now to achieve this, I'm going to duplicate this, this layer by holding down the command and, and pressing J. So we've got that copy now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the command T to transform. And while I have this selected, I'm going to right click and flip vertical. So I'm just going to pull this down up to right about there. As you can see, our reflection doesn't look right. So I need to go to edit, transform and warp. Okay. So now you need to play with these controls just to make sure that you have a smooth reflection. I'm going to start by pulling this end up and then pulling the middle part down. Okay. I'm just clicking my, I'm just clicking my up arrow just to bring this closer. You can play around with this just to make sure that you get it perfect. I'm just going to press enter to commit to that. For this reflection to really look uh, nice, I'm just going to lower the opacity. So here, make sure that you're selecting the, um, the copy layer. So I'm just going to lower down that to about say 50%. So now what we need to do is we need to make this reflection kind of like fade out. So what we got to do is we need to go here to the mask and then we need to come here to the gradient tool and then just click right here in the bottom and just drag up. If it doesn't look right, all you got to do is to press the command or the control Z to undo. This seems um, okay. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. Now let's go back to the background. What you want to do now is to merge these two layers. I'm going to click the background layer, hold the shift key and press the, uh, the background copy. So what I'm going to do to merge these two layers, you need to click on command E. Now that we have our background layers merged, we're going to go to the adjustment layers. So I'm going to click on this adjustment layer and we're going to go to hue and saturation. We're going to come here to colorize. Okay. Now the beauty of this is you can change this to any color that you want. So I've got some, uh, figures I need, I need to enter in there. So there's 232, 50 and minus 40. I'm going to go to this layer, double click and go to drop shadow. Now make sure your shadow is 90 degrees and yeah, basically these, these settings are okay. So what we want to do now is to merge these two layers, click, hold down the shift key and then click the boss copy and then press command E to merge those two layers. If this image is too big, all you have to do is to press the command T to transform and then hold on the shift key and then just drag to the desired size. I think that's about right. So I'm going to press enter. Okay. So, um, we're almost done now. So what I want to do now is just to make sure everything is centered properly and we'll go to the background copy and then hold on the command key control on PC and then come right at the top here and make sure everything's aligned, um, on the horizontal centers like so brilliant. So all I have to do now is just to add the text and just make sure it's in position. So, okay, there you have it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also visit the new Facebook fan page. Let me know what you guys think about my tutorial by leaving your comments below.